Hello, viewers. I'm coming watching this video in the past, present, and future. I am so excited to play Stanley Chronicles 2. 99.9% .9 blind. I know just about nothing about the game. Mm. Ugh. I know the main character's name is Rex. Oh. Oh. I know. Like, the secondary protagonist is Pyra. And that the game takes place on Titans. That's essentially it. I have not seen any gameplay of this game at all whatsoever. No reviews. Nothing. Oh, this looks so good. I want to turn it up, but like I'm scared of Echo. Okay. Alright, let's get started. I'm gonna mute my mic for cutscenes, which this might be, so I'm gonna mute myself right now. Oh. oh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, there's going to be echo. I have the music turned up all the way. Not all the way, but I have it turned up. Oh my god. Oh, we've seen that guy. I watched those MLA 2 direct. Not those MLA 2 direct. I, would, I did not watch those MLA 2 direct. But the direct that came before that, that had a... Xenoblade Chronicles 2 segment I saw, so. Wait, is that not it? Oh, I think that's Rex. I was starting like a movie with the, uh. credits playing over the intro. That's pretty cool. Oh. That's a good tactic. What does the hook do? <laughs> Can't take it all the way to the surface with the bubble or what? <laughs> you need to attach it to a hook for extra effect. Get to see his daily life basically right now, I'm assuming. <sighs> we really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 pets to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. I 
I think it's the first battle. You've been living in this thing this time. <laughs> what? Ooh, I know this music. No worries, Gramps. I kind of wish I didn't, but it, I do. I think we know what's for lunch. All right, time to battle. <laughs> All right, has battle system work? Okay. I was told to take screenshots of the tutorials. So I guess I'm gonna do that. Time to your lunch. To initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. Okay, guys, are you done? How are you done? To draw your weapon, to simply press A while targeting an enemy. Display to display at this target, just press R. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target marker display above his head. I just realized I haven't been taking the screen out of everything, but I think oh, that's gonna fill up the thing so quick. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm, I'll take screen shots of things that I'll probably forget. Holding down R and pressing B. Okay. Okay, auto attack. Good. Okay, what's it? A. Okay, time to take you down. Auto attack for the win, such a three. Alright. So if I wait a long time, it'll. Okay. So HP potion is up. So I, I saw that before. Take a look at the icons on the lower right of the screen. When one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Arts are special techniques distinct. Uh, yeah. I'm aware I played other than players. I just remember you like the way to the church gate surrounding the icon. Okay. Oh, so it's the different buttons on. Okay, it's not the D pad. Anchor shot! Ha! This enemy just dropped something. Okay. So that was anchor shot, but it also gets me an HP potion. That's, I thought that was an HP potion right there, but no, it's an attack that gives me an HP potion, I think. Okay, automatically, okay, good. Alright, that's cool. Should you use your arts immediately to deal serious damage or save them for when you need them both? Okay. Cool, <laughs> why not? Alright, so you can't auto-attack while walking like you could in like one. Stronger than before. Ah, money. Cool. Chapter one. Encounters. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree together with our divine father the architect according to the tales it was a bountiful land and the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves they called that paradise elysium but then one day we were cast out nobody knows why perhaps we angered our creator or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the titans and we've lived in harmony with them ever since but now those titans are beginning to die out the 
Anastasia does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... ...if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So... You Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium? And the Creator? Who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonse. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. We're gonna be going somewhere. There's not much to do on here by the looks of it. All right. Back to making money. You know, maybe there'll be like a game we do under there or something. I don't know. I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? Oh. You're planning on selling it now. It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. <laughs> Kids these days. No respect, I swear. There we go. Oh. Oh, I like it. Argentum Trade Guild, or Argentum. I don't remember how Rex said it. <laughs> Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Bear point? So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold for a half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too? No one, I'm afraid. 
back gears. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. Alright, I'm assuming I'm playing now. Alright, looks like our adventure is about to get rid. About to really get going. You can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features. Alright. When you close this tutorial screen, you'll see a gold mouth return port pop up on the screen. This letting you know you found a landmark. Just like the first sound blade. And probably the second. Or X. Since this is referring to itself as the second. When you've discovered a landmark, you can return to it any time with skip travel. Alright? If you're defeated in battle, you'll be... Okay. Cool. All of us to a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. In just in case you find you ever find yourself struggling with your basic controls, press. Alright. Cool. Cool. Alright, so up. Offset camera right. Ooh. So turn camera. Alright, cool. Oh yes. Oh, I love that. <laughs> First person gaming. I like it. And then, boom. Okay. Oh, he's okay. Regular view. So the ears pointing to that's the compass. Okay. The mark on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be head. Okay. The digits above the mark on the compass show the distance to your destination. If Rex's destination is higher than his current position, then you see a little arrow above the marker. Conversely, if it's a lower altitude than the Rex position, okay. But then, next up, environmental information. This key will, this will key you into info on your immediate surroundings, like weather, time of day, and so on. Cool. Next is the mini map. Cool. The yellow marker is in the middle is Rex's current location and direction he's facing. Push L to switch between full screen or mini map view. Confident adventurers might prefer to take their, make their way through. Okay, cool. Current objective, okay. I noticed that earlier during like the last tutorial. Uh, expect tells you exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, cool. Right now it's telling you to go and pay a visit to Melolo, Melolo at the Central Exchange, so try doing that. Cool. Oh, jeez. That feels somewhat strange to me. Alright, I don't know why it feels, it just feels like a strange jump. Alright. Go Koi. This is not a central exchange. <laughs> this place is for import and export paperwork of all your new traders. I don't think I said that right. Exchange, central exchange is around the center of the ship, Goldmouth. If wanting to sell savage, salvage goods, I suggest talking to Malola. Alright. Sure thing. God, this guy's really weird. Look at the thing. <laughs> Alright, turn it on. Hi there. Turn it on, heard that. Heard that. <laughs> okay. I, I gotta get down Nop on speech here again. Nop, Tonadon heard that is good idea to move around the two side or back of enemy during battle. Now me think this is this info may be relevant for repairs around Goldmouth, but is hard to hammer in nails should nails should not hit from straight above but side on. Oof, I don't want to think about all the nails you'll end up ruining. <laughs> Yeah. Does not sound about right. Elevator going up. What elevator? This elevator? Is this elevator? Wait. 
What are you looking at? Oh, this whole thing is an elevator, isn't it? Okay, cool. Will we, please? Why are you talking to this? Okay. <laughs> I thought he was talking to me. 20,000 gold! 40,000 gold! 50,000 gold! 70,000! 90,000! Jesus! That's a lot of money. <laughs> Alright. Oh. What's this? You're all mine. Failed. Oh, I need to have things at level 2 to get that. Okay. Shown. Hey, Rex. Looks like you've got quite the salvage business going on there. Been to Central, Central Exchange yet? You should bring your haul along there. Collectibles, treasure, whatever's in your pockets. You've got a better deal if you can sell them off in bulk. Paying the market for your favor. In your favor is the mark of a true salvager. Okay. Checking all the nooks and crannies here. Dude, this place is freaking big. Under Central right. Exchange. Alright. So where's the dude? Apparently he dips this way. Probably behind there. Yep, there it is. Okay. I want to explore around for it, but it'll, it'll probably give me more chance just to do that. Alright. There's still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be a good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. Two hundred now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is beautiful thing. Sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh, uh, hey? All right, I'm counting on you. Roger. Pleasure doing business. <laughs> All right. 200 gold. All right. Cool. Oh. Rain with another cutscene. Hello, Rex. Papunin. Been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, uh, no. How say? Yes. Pepe. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leptherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The Chairman? For me? Interesting. Okay, Rex seems to have a lot of uh, hop on friends. Go through the Argentum Bazaar and upstairs. Chairman's room right there. What, where's the Argentum Bazaar? May I stop the stilly dally and hop to it? You young and spirit, spirit sprightly pod, no? What's the other thing? Not bad, not bad. Wife ran out on me, but apart from that, cannot complain. <laughs> Alright. Pippin's hands are full with menial tasks. I mean, very important work for Chairman Bana. High powered roll. Naturally leads for Poopin. Poop. Poop. Poopunin. Time poor. But still important to have bre breaky breaks sometimes. Ah, jeez. Freaking nap on, okay. Build mouth exit dock. Yeah, this is not where I want to be being. Glows. In the heat of battle, everything's about location, location, location. If you find a spot to move over here to your opponent's blind spot, it'll be much easier for your attacks to connect. My old man practically drilled that into me. He used used to be a merc, don't you know? 
I re I really take after the guy, you know. Well, actually, I think you wouldn't. I guess you wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funny. Okay. All right. So, oh, I guess it it tells me. I didn't think I'm there. Okay. Oh, hold up a second. Before I forget, you should probably explain. I should probably. I'm gonna use the camera. Manual and auto. Okay, use manual. Okay. If you press R. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah I read that. Okay. Oops. That's the wrong things here. Wait, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Remembering your buttons here. Okay. That's cool. I like that. So, up the stairs. Oh, is this him? No. Bana, there he is. Thank you for accepting summons. I, Bana, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dinsy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. A 100,000? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? I, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this? Of course, I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul out. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area, but it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> a child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly underground. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Domark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. 
Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramp showed me a thing or two, even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. are such rowdy bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. Alright. Alright then. There are plenty of preparations to make, but first... First off, I should probably check in with Gramps. If I just took off on some random trip without telling him, I'm sure he'll give me hell whatever, whatever, later when I come back. I'd better head down the stairs and back to Goldmouth for turn port. Sorry, I'm, I'm tired. I think I went to sleep last night. Alright, that's a lot of money. Today's Christmas. I got this game. Decided I want to record a video on it. I think I went to sleep last night. It's in here. Locked. that dude. I wonder if there's fall damage in this game. It probably is. Whoa. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, I can... That's interesting. Because <laughs> it's easier to see the objective. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Oh boy. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! Shrex. <laughs> now I've got Grant's permission. <laughs> Just about. I'd better start making preparations for this mission. Oops. Um, I missed that. I could buy a whole new cutting edge salvaging suit. But no, I can't splurge this all at once. If I'm back at home, this money than I do. I'll hold off on making any big purchases. I just need to head to Shinini's Sh accessories. Anyway, it's best to be prepared for anything. I might end up fighting a crust tip like on my last salvage. Looks like Tim got fired in the Moyers. Big job preparation proceed. Uh, sure. Is that a side quest or what? <laughs> you accepted a quest. There are two types of quests regular quests and ones that are part of the main story. Okay. You'll need to complete the main story quest to advance the main story, of course. <laughs> direction of the next location is shown on the compass. It has a mini exclamation mark icon. A word of warning here, the pink icon will not appear on the compass at the top of the screen unless you set a quest as active. Feel free to ignore this feature if you're a seasoned veteran. What rookie adventurers would do as well to remember to set active quests whenever possible, alright? Ordinary quests aren't vital for the main story. Follow the blue exclamation mark icon to get to the next destination. Our rest is full of people who could use a little help. You'll be able to spot them pretty easily since... I lost my spot. <laughs> I looked I looked to make sure my mic wasn't muted. Because I mute, I'm muting the mic a lot for the series. Since they'll have a blue question mark icon above their head. Good. If you speak to them, they'll usually open, open up to you about their problems or requests and kind of help. 
These are the regular quests that I mentioned earlier. I'm sure if you manage to solve their problems, they'll give you some kind of reward for your trouble. Alright. What's the, uh, okay, so... What's that? Ah, Rex, you're back. Between the fee for more and Gramps here and unloading your goods, that'll be 15G in total. Ready to pay up now? I got more. Thanks a bunch. I don't know what I would have done if you tried to shirk your bill. Enjoy your stay in Goldmouth, yeah. So the green dots on the mini map is the uh, people you can talk to. Hi there. Wah, Rex. Good to see ya. <laughs> Wah. Go figure you just, just whiling away time watching ships go by until tar cargo is all loaded on board. What Rex say to metal get together? Say say to meal together. Sorry, I'm kinda busy at the moment. Meh, that too bad. Perry thought it would be nice to make happy memories before I set out on a long, long voyage. Ah, never mind, Peppery. Pepperepi wait. Perry Perry. Perry Perry. <laughs> what did I say his name was before? Perry Perry. Okay. Just being melodramatic. Rex keep up the doing good work with salvaging. Look, I'm not reading. <laughs> I just say what I think I see. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna talk to absolutely anyone. What does the star mean? Does that mean I haven't talked to him before? I'm not sure. Wait, let's find out. Is the star gonna be still there when I'm done? Oh, hi there. Rex, my boy. This nap on here has just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentium. Argentum. I keep saying the central exchange is inside Goldmouth just after you enter the ship, but he doesn't, just doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to Lemarina the first floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. Okay, it looks like Star doesn't mean I haven't talked to them. Cool. Twelve Brother Sister Bond. Is that like the name of the shop? I don't know if I should be wasting my time right now. Okay, so I can't do that, alright. Maybe the star means they have something new to say than last time you talked to them or you haven't talked to them. Either or. So. Okay, it looks like you either go full, you you can you can either go full speed or half speed. That's that's the only option. You can't like go walk slower than that. All right. I'm fine with that. Lemuli. Meh meh. Savage is so cool. Lemuli wish could also do salvaging work instead of just guard job. Like my brain isn't up right now. <laughs> Sorry. But. Lumuli, supposed, is not so bad just gazing out at Cloud Sea. It is quite the fantastic view, ain't it? Level 1 enemy. Just battle him. Can I not do it? Wait, how do I. Okay. So you press R or L to. Okay, time to take you down. Ha! Or the castle. We can do this all day. That's hard. <laughs> I mean, why would it? Okay. It's a drug objective. All right. Ah, let's go. Find abyss fest. All right. Why not? Okay, that's not. Can't go straight there. Gotta go around. All right. Let's actually continue the story for once. Ah, Rex, I think it's for the side quest. Ah, Rex, friend, good to be seen. Ish. Shinini. You still got that thing we talked about before? Ah, Rex finally saved save up money to purchase? You got it. Can I have a look? Let's buy some stuff. This vest. Alright. Own. I can own 900 of this vest. Why would I want to? I can only buy one. All right. <laughs> Why Rex suddenly have much have much monies? Salvage some amazing treasure. After taking out a big job from the chairman, I got one that hundred thousand G just from the advance payment. Wow, that's qu that quite impressive. 
then I'll be going to Uncharted Waters, uh, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. This is accessory sure to protect rats. Shinini agree. Guarantee. <laughs> Good luck on job. Hey. Right, now that's sorted. And I've still got a fair amount of cash time. Ca cash left. Tend to send some back to pack home to the folks at Fonset. I'd best go see Malolo at the ex Central Exchange again. Alright. You finally got the Abyss Vest you always wanted. It'll boost your maximum HP by 24%. Ooh. Right now, the Abyss Vest is the only accessory you have, but you're sure to encounter a lot more during your adventure. Okay, ma main menu, characters, character setup, accessories. So, start. Oh, I like that. Some question marks there. Okay. Characters. Just got Rex. Just, just browsing the uh, thing right now. Okay, thank you. Shots are only one, so we have 207 WP. We don't have enough. All right. What does it increase damage ratio? And that's it. All right. Cool. Affinity chart. Oh jeez. Ah, it's vacuum going through the house. Ah, jeez. Okay, so what do we need to be able to get these? Oh, I can unlock this one right now? No? It just shows unlock right there. Sorry if you hear loud background noise. <laughs> it might even enter the room, which I might end the video for. It's a good length right now, anyways. Yep. Alright. Don't die for the next video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.